hello, here is BB Walker, welcome back to my channel. Today, as I promised, we will connect this Kawai KDP 110 into computer and Cubase software or any other MIDI software using the USB cable. So let's get started. First of all, what this is cable? This cable is called USB B this uh, cord and this cord is a standard USB-A and under the keyboard you will find this port to connect computer I will try to show you how it looks it's it's here so you install it just here I need to pay attention how it should look like okay a little bit problem you know with the camera and and the other endings go to the computer okay so maybe this time and now we have all things connected so give me a second and we'll start the computer all right, so I have loaded this project uh, from Yamaha PSR, which I was recorded previously. And uh, please check the link in the description to see what's going on up there. All these two tracks, MIDI tracks, has been recorded using Yamaha. And now I will change these devices here to work with KDP. Uh, if you take a look in here, and I will give you a little bit zoom. At the output devices and the input devices, you will see that now they are missing. Why? Because this record has been done on Yamaha, on a completely different device. But now I will show you that you can change it into USB MIDI. This KDP is recognized and it's found like USB MIDI. Because this is actually nothing more than USB MIDI keyboard and as the output you need to also set this new device USB MIDI and those two things you need to do for each track you have so again change from not recognized to USB MIDI both input and output because I would like to use it as a MIDI keyboard and I would like to you know listen uh, this output so not from this uh, computer but from this kawaii so now let's press one and listen how it sounds so i'm not touching anything and kawaii is playing this piano section recorded on yamaha And basically this is how you could connect any MIDI USB device to computer and use the software to record. And now I will show you more how to add another track and record another layer. This time we use a Kawaii. So let's get started. Alright, so the basic concept is exactly the same like uh, we have done before. Please refer to this first video, but you are clicking uh, right mouse button, context menu, and you select this add MIDI track. Add MIDI track, give the name, let's call it Kawaii, Kawaii number three, enter, and now it's really ready to record. And the only thing you need to do is go at the beginning and press the record with pre samples. Okay, so let's record another layer. Sorry.
Okay, I think it's enough. It's only for a demonstration purposes. So as you can see now, we have recorded completely new track, MIDI track, using this Kawaii KDP 110. And you could use it for practicing, you know, record one track, use it as a loop, and then record another. So let's hear the result. Okay, so there is an almost unlimited, I know how, how much tracks you could add, but I think a lot of tracks. Um, of course, you can edit each track, you do, do the quantizing section and so on and so on. I don't want to discuss all the stuff in this video. However, if you have any questions about this Kawaii KDP or just mini music or just how to use the Cubase, Please give me a comment, give me a subscribe, and I will be posting more video and more videos you need. So remember, I always answer to your comments. And if your you know problem or issue is worth making video, I promise I will make a direct video for you, dedicated video. So don't hesitate to ask if you have any concern how to connect this or those or whatever. So let's summarize all those stuff. Kawaii KDP 100 at 10 has a MIDI Bluetooth and USB. If you use USB, you can connect it to the laptop and use a software like Cubase of FL Studio or ProLogic or Anvil Studio, free or commercial, it doesn't matter. Most of the uh, MIDI programs uh, gives you the oldest functions and applications that you can do. So you can record the track, maintain this routing channels so it could be used as a MIDI keyboard so the input goes to the computer and then as the output you play it and instead of playing by the computer and pure quality wavetable synthesizers you are playing using this nice sample from the device you have it could be a kawaii digital piano or it could be a uh, you know, arranger keyboard like my Yamaha PSR 600, which you can also find on this channel. So, if you need to create the music uh, in practice, making some jamming with backing tracks, all those things you can do using this simple computer. Of course, the very uh, you know expensive and sophisticated advanced arranger has a lot of things. Uh, known from this software like MIDI, you know, editing, punching in, punching out, quantizing, and so on. But, but digital pianos actually are not arrangers. There are only uh, digital pianos. However, you get only a few samples and only limited to three tracks recording and so on. So to expand the functions of your digital piano, you can simply use a computer or tablet or phone like it's shown in another video please check the description and you know have some fun because you can record your songs in a MIDI format which is cool format for you know uh, later development and editing on a computer you, where you have almost unlimited storage sharing with friends and so on and so on so even without the technical virtual technical iPad application without the Android phone you can even use only the USB computer, which I believe almost everybody has. So this is all for now for my video connecting Kawaii Digital Piano and Yamaha PSR 670 thanks to the application and computer. If you have any questions, just give me a comment and have a nice day. It was BB Walker. See you later.